Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So here's Red Sox-Yankees from a couple of nights ago. I was watching this game. It's a really great view. I love this view that they kept showing. Just gives you a really good idea of, one, kind of what the stuff looks like from the pitcher coming in. But, two, you're able to get a really good idea of, um, you know, what it feels like to be the hitter in the box and look at some of the pitchers, or excuse me, the hitters' timing. When are they getting ready to hit, especially these slow-mo clips? So we've got Devers here, and I want you to just kind of watch as he prepares to hit. And I want to talk about preparing to hit with the upper body. But again, we talk a lot about dancing with the pitcher, how it's important for the hitter to be able to dance with the pitcher, get in rhythm with the pitcher, and be ready on time. You know, a lot of mistakes I see from hitters are when they don't get to their spot where they can launch their swing on time. If you don't get there, you know, it doesn't matter what type of swing you have. If you can't get to position on time to launch your swing, you're going to be late. And so it's really important to get to that spot and don't be late. Because if you are late, other parts of your swing start to break down. You end up taking emergency swings where, you know, you're just trying to fight the ball off instead of really being able to allow your swing to work together properly and be able to drive the ball. So look at, you know, this work is going to get done in the on-deck circle. So you're going to get in the on-deck circle and you're going to go through this and see, okay, when do I have to start to get loaded? When do I have to get my foot off the ground to be able to be prepared to be on time to launch, you know, my A swing consistently? Right? And look at how early Devers has to start to get ready. You know, a lot of young hitters I see, they, they wait way too long. They don't start getting loaded and getting ready until the ball is basically being released. Look at this. Devers is already starting to move right here, and that ball is in his glove. The, the pitcher's leg kick is just getting to the top here. Now he starts to lower his leg. He breaks his hands. There's his arm swinging back. And all that time, Devers is getting ready. So you need to be working on this in the on-deck circle, you know, getting in sync. Every pitcher is different. Everybody's going to have a different tempo. They're going to have a different, you know, delivery. And so I've got to get synced up and ready to go with the pitcher. And I'd rather be a smidge early than a smidge late, right? So you're not always going to be perfectly on time, but I'd rather be a bit early than a bit late. A bit early, I can still do something with it. If I'm late, I'm not going to get my A swing off. It's impossible to get my A swing off if I'm late. If I don't get to my spot to launch until it's too late, I can't get a good swing off. Right? Okay. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. The second thing is just think about how he's getting ready his upper body, right? We talk about this a lot. And so, you know, the keys for me, you know, if we pull it back here, the keys for me again, watch his elbow. Let me get a different color here since uh since his elbow sleeve is red. But if we watch his elbow right here, right, as he starts to get ready, what's he do? His elbow is getting behind his hands, right? So we always talk, get your rear elbow behind your hand. So left elbow behind left hand, all right? Watch, it starts, it starts kind of down, but as the pitcher goes into his leg kick and breaks his hands, notice how his elbow is getting right behind his hand. When he goes to launch his swing, right here. Notice, elbow, directly behind hand, right? Notice which way his arm's working. His arm is working back this way, right? So with our guys, we call it a pullback because you're essentially you, you're pulling back. If you just get in your stance right now, if you're a lefty, put your left hand up. If you're a righty, put your right hand up. Get your rear elbow or get that elbow behind the hand. And now work your arm, pull back. Pull back, back behind you, back towards, you know, the dugout behind you or back towards, if you think about your spine right here, back towards your spine. Right, that's the move to get ready to hit. Elbow behind hands, I'm pulling back, it's like there's somebody behind me, I'm going to nudge them with it. Right, there's somebody behind me, I'm just going to give them a little nudge with my elbow. It's not a super aggressive move, some hitters are more subtle than others. But I want to feel my arm working back this way, back behind me. I should feel this 
back here on my back. Again, put your arm up. If you're a righty, put your right arm up. If you're a lefty, put your left arm up. When I make that little bit of a subtle move where I get my elbow behind my hands and I start to pull back and I get my arm working back towards my spine, back behind me, notice you feel that little bit of your back engage, right? It doesn't feel tense. It's not a tense. I'm not clenching, but it's engaged. You can feel it in your back, all right? And that's a really, really important move. I think most elite hitters get to that position in some way. Some might have their elbow maybe a, sm- uh, a, a little bit lower. Some might have it a little bit higher, but it's somewhere back here behind your hand, right? A lot of times when I watch young hitters, I go watch young hitters play, and they'll have their elbow like way down here. Right? It's like pointed straight down to the ground. And I'm never going to be able to get into my back. I'm never going to be able to use my back. I'm not going to be able to get to a good position. I'm not going to be able to pull back so that it keeps me kind of, you know, counterbalances me as I move forward. It allows me to be able to get the barrel to turn deeper. You know, hitters that have their, their, their uh, rear arm down like this, what happens with them, a lot of times their arm gets out in front of their body. It outraces their body. The barrel ends up dragging. They lose the barrel. They pop up a lot. They can't release the barrel. They can't pull the ball. Like A lot of bad things happen from that position. So I've got to try to get into this position where my elbow is behind my hands. I pull back, and now from here I can launch the swing. We'll watch it one more time. And again, notice how early he starts to make this move. And again, everyone's going to be different. Some hitters, they might start a little bit more pulled back, and so they don't have to start as early. Other hitters that don't, well, they're going to have to start earlier. So it's all up to you, your individual move. How do you prep the hit? You have to understand that, how long it takes you to get there. Then you've got to be able to get in rhythm with the pitcher in the on-deck circle because every pitcher is different. You put all that together, and now you'll be able to get consistently on time so you can get your A swing off. Again, that's what it's all about. It's about getting your best swing off as consistently as you can. The more consistently you can get your best swing off, well, the more consistently you'll hit the ball. But you can have a great swing if you're not ready to hit. If you don't get your body prepped to hit and ready to hit, it doesn't matter how good your swing is. If you're always going to be late, you're always going to be a tick off. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel, and we'll talk to you later.